Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make a fabulous Snickers ice cream cake that's perfect for any occasion that you have um, at this time of year. Of course, obviously, lots of summer parties, maybe like a late graduation party. This is a real delicious cake that you can make in advance and it's perfect every single time. So the cake is going to start out with an actual chocolate cake base. So to do that, I'm going to show you what you need. You can use store-bought chocolate cake mix. This is my chocolate cake mix that I have shared with you here around the holiday season. And then you just need whatever the box calls for, which is water, vegetable oil, and some eggs. The only crucial thing is, is that you have the recipe. Because the recipe makes either a 9 by 13 or makes two 9 inch cakes. I just need one 9 inch cake, so I'm gonna you know, cut the recipe in half for the cake itself. I will have everything written in the recipe section on my website for this recipe, so do not panic. If you have homemade chocolate cake mix, preferably my recipe, then you are in business. I mean, you have a jar in the fridge always ready for you, and that's just fabulous. So, what I need typically, you need three cups of cake mix. But since I'm cutting this recipe in half, I only need a cup and a half. When you use really good quality ingredients too, even though you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, it's just gonna take like, it's just gonna taste like a cake mix. Well, some cake mixes are delicious, if I'm honest. This is one of them. It's got good ingredients, nothing too complicated or crazy, just perfect. I also have my oven preheated to 350. I have a nine inch um, spring form pan buttered nicely, ready to go. Now I've got my mix, I'm going to add my water, as you can see, very precise, very, very complicated. My oil, you could use, uh, also use butter, and two eggs. And I'm just going to whisk this together until everything is incorporated. Pour your cake batter in your prepared cake pan. Really simple. If you don't want to go through the trouble of making your own cake batter, then by all means you can just go to your local grocery store and buy like a box of brownies or like a regular made cake. Just cut it up, fit it in there, good to go. This needs to go in my preheated oven. It'll only take about 25 minutes or so to bake fully and then you want to let it cool completely and then we'll start layering. So once my cake baked, which only took about 30 minutes or so, you let it cool completely. I was going to leave it for just a few hours, but I figured overnight would ensure that the cake would be definitely, definitely cool enough for me to top it with the ice cream, because you don't want your cake to be warm, because once ice cream touches warm cake, disaster, right? So what I have here is a vanilla bean ice cream. You can make your own. I have a great vanilla gelato, vanilla uh, ice cream recipe on my website that I've had for years that I love. Or you can buy a store-bought, really good quality vanilla ice cream. No one's judging you, at least not me. If somebody is, get rid of them. <laughs> you want to leave your ice cream out for a few minutes just to soften it a bit so that it makes it easier. You can see there's a little bit of a dome here, right? Not much from the, you know, but there is a little bit of a dome from the edge. If that bothers you and you want it super even, you can cut that out, but why would you get rid of cake? What did it do to you? It's here, it did its job, so let it go and eat the cake. So I'm just gonna leave it, and then you just top it with your ice cream. I know I look crazy right now, but do not panic. Just start moving the ice cream around. Mm. If that happens, do not panic. All you want to do is just push the ice cream in there and get it as flat as possible. Okay, I switched to a spatula because it does a much better job. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with some plastic wrap. This is just a piece of plastic wrap I had from covering my cake. Just press it right on there like so, just to kind of press it so that everything is even. And I need to pop this into the freezer for around 45 minutes or so. I want my ice cream to kind of firm up a bit. And then all we're going to do is drizzle it with some delicious sauces and serve. My ice cream cake was in the freezer for about an hour or so. Now, everything else is really easy and really simple. You have options because life is about options. If you are greedy and impatient, kind of like me, what you can do is you can serve this cake right away. Now, I need to make it snickerfied, if you will, right? It is a Snickers ice cream cake after all. So what I need is to make a quick little chocolate ganache. I've got caramel sauce that I've made myself. I have a recipe on LaraInTheKitchen.com. 
I make it so often, you keep it in a jar, in the fridge, and anytime you want some, you just pour it in a container, melt it for just a few seconds until it becomes nice and loose again, and you have fabulous caramel sauce. You can buy store-bought, no one will care, no one will know the difference, it'll be delicious either way. I've got some dry roasted peanuts, these are unsalted, I prefer it this way, it doesn't compete with any other flavors. To make my little chocolate ganache, all you need is some sweet chocolate chips and a little bit of heavy cream. I'm going to pop this into the microwave for about 45 seconds to a minute until fully melted, and then I'll come back and I can tell you your options, because that's what I do. Okay, so this is what my chocolate sauce looks like. It's a little on the thick side, which is perfect. You don't want it too runny. You want to make sure it's not super hot, otherwise it's going to melt everything. Now this is where the options come in. You can slice this now, top it with some of your pe uh, pecans, peanuts, drizzle a little chocolate sauce, drizzle a little caramel, boom. If, however, you want your chocolate sauce and your caramel to be set, you want to pop this into the freezer for a few hours. I'm going to pop it in the freezer overnight because I don't have to, I have no guests coming over tonight. I'm all alone and lonely. They're going to be over tomorrow, so it'll be fabulous. But this cake does not take three days to come together. You can make it in the morning and within a few hours your cake is done. I'm just lazy sometimes. And it's just easy to bake at night when no one else can bother me. <laughs> you know you're like that too. So what I do is I like my nuts to be on top of the ice cream because I like them to be coated by the caramel and the chocolate, kind of like a regular Snickers bar, right? So that's how I like it. And you can see that I haven't chopped them up. These are just halved. That's how I prefer it because like I said, a traditional bar, that's how they come. And if you love, I used to be able to find them. I can't find them anymore, but there used to be like a Snickers ice cream cone. Oh, they were fabulous. Now I'm just resorting to having to make them myself because I can't find them anymore. But you can, you, there's, it's similar to that. So you just take your caramel and you kind of just drizzle all over the top. There's no rhyme or reason, no particular way to how you do this. You just need caramel all over the surface. As much or as little as you like. Then you take your chocolate and you kind of do the same thing. The chocolate is a little bit thicker, but that's okay. Look how cool. I mean, right? I just use my whisk because it, it, it works. But you can use a spoon, you can use whatever your heart desires. What I'm, what I'm doing, if, if you notice, is I'm trying not to cover up the edges too much because I want you to be able to see the vanilla ice cream, I want you to see the nuts, I want you to see the caramel. So I'm just strategically, strategically drizzling this chocolate liberally all over so that every piece has a good amount. And that is gorgeous. Now all I need to do is very, you can loosely, loosely cover this with plastic wrap. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a plate, place it upside down so that the plate isn't actually touching the chocolate surface. And I'm going to pop this into the freezer as is. An hour will do. Like I said, this is not going to take you three days, but it's a really fun project to do with kids as well. So I need to pop this into the freezer overnight because I'm starting to see the melting. The ice cream is going to start melting. So when I show you what this looks like cut up, I mean, trust me, it's going to be worth the wait. Once your cake is fully set, like, like I said, it doesn't have to happen overnight. It's just a lazy way out. You can do this for about an hour or so and it would be perfect. You want to let it come to room temperature for about 10 minutes before you cut it because it can be really hard around the edges. And then if you need to, because it's a spring form pan, you don't. You kind of just loosen the sides and you lift it. But if you need to, you can kind of just go in with a knife. And then, oh, this is going to be dense and gorgeous. I'm going to cut a piece out. This is really rich. And you know me, I, I'm not afraid to eat, but I will say this much. I can easily share a slice with Joe or anyone because it's very rich. You got ice cream, you have chocolate cake, you've got caramel, you've got chocolate, you've got a lot going on. Can we just admire? 
can we just admire? And I'm gonna tell you what I really love about that chocolate on top. It's hardened so that when you cut into it and you bite into it, it kind of cracks and it falls apart and it crumbles and I love that. And that's what I love about like a Snickers ice cream cone or anything like that. It's delightful. I just need to have a little bit of everything because you know, because that's like the perfect bite to me. I was gonna shush like I was gonna blow on it. Here I go again. <laughs> Cold. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hold on. It's a mouthful. That is so good. The chocolate cake, it's great texture. Not too sweet, believe it or not. The peanuts have great crunch, great flavor. Everything together just makes for the perfect bite. If you love a Snickers ice cream bar or a Snickers bar, you need to make this this weekend because it's worthy of being shared with loved ones. Go to lauraimthekitchen.com to get the written recipe. I'm just going to sit here by myself with my cake because that's how I roll sometimes. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye!